And welcome back. In recent news, New York City Mayor Eric Adams announced New York City will completely eliminate 30 fines on businesses and reduce about 90 others as part of ongoing efforts to cut red tape. City officials said the changes will save the city more than 200,000 small businesses, a projected $8.9 million a year in penalties. Well, the question is, what does this mean moving forward? Joining us to tell us more details, we've got the executive director of business recovery at the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce, Mark Caserta. And Mark, thank you for being with us. And uh, as you listen to what the mayor has said and done, um, give me your thoughts. Hi, thanks for having me. So it's actually very exciting. Um, we've, uh, I think we've been advocating for reducing uh, fines and, and getting rid of unnecessary rules and regulations for quite some time. Um, this is a great time to do it. Uh, businesses are trying to recover from the pandemic and, uh, you know, we couldn't be more pleased. I think this is a, a good step forward. Yeah. So about 30 different types of fines are actually going to be eliminated after the mayor does what he wants to do. And he says that it'll save probably small businesses that projected, you know, $8.9 million a year in penalties. Now, some people say that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but to the average business owner, you say what? Oh, yeah, it's going to make a big difference. Um, there are, you know, I, we spend a lot of time in business recovery going door to door, talking to small business owners and, you know, beyond the, the various struggles they've had with the pandemic, having uh, inspectors come to their door and find something wrong and find them. And then a couple hours later, another inspector coming in for another issue and finding them for that issue uh, can really drag you down. And actually, you know, so if, when you meet someone who's just had an inspector come by and find them, you know, there's often desperation. Sometimes there's just resignation. Just, you know, I, like this is too much. I've dealt with so much and now I've got to deal with this. And I, you often hear people say, I'm just going to give up. So uh, I think this will make a big difference. Yeah. Uh, you hear a lot about red tape. And when we talk about red tape for businesses, uh, I've talked to business owners and they say, when you know, you're trying to navigate with the city, it's a maze. Oh, uh, you know, the, you hear a whole lot of different complaints coming from business owners with regards to red tape. Uh, from your perspective, uh, what's it like trying to navigate when it's neat, when you need to involve the city in what you're doing? So uh, we find that a lot of small business owners don't know all of the rules and regulations because there are so many of them. Um, they've started a business, they've tried to do what's right, and they've kind of run into a wall and haven't been able to figure out you know, what the rules actually are until they get fined. So, um, you know, this coupled with some more education and maybe some technology allowing people to figure out what the rules and regulations that apply to them are, uh, will go a long way for sure. Yeah. Uh, one of the city officials was quoted as saying that, you know, want to give mom and pop businesses, quote, a fighting chance. Uh, we know that COVID-19 has had a huge impact on small businesses, particularly those mom and pop shops. Uh, how do you see things in, from your perspective uh, in your lay of the land in Brooklyn? So the recovery is going fairly well in Brooklyn. I think um, the state controller just said that the Brooklyn's recovery is ahead of the rest of the five boroughs. It's doing pretty well. Um, but if you think about all the things that small businesses have been through over the past two years, they were closed for several weeks, some for months. Um, then they were open with a lot of restrictions that made it difficult to do business. Um, they were trying to get grants and loans. A lot of them uh, were unable to do so. Um, there was a labor shortage, um, supply shortage. Now there's inflation. Um, that's the newest thing that we're hearing on the streets, that things are more expensive than ever, and then customers are slowing down a little bit because they have less money in their pockets. Um, they have high gas prices. Some of them owe back rent after uh, uh, the eviction moratorium is over and are facing potential eviction. So, you know, this sort of thing where you're trying to get rid of the rules and regulations that really just don't make sense anymore and giving them a fighting chance is really critical. Yeah. I want to go to one of the rules. Uh, businesses will now have 60 days uh, to fix Department of Buildings violations that aren't immediately hazardous. Um, when you look at that particular uh, legislation saying 60 days, um, give me your thoughts. What do you feel about that? I think that that's a considerable improvement. Sure, it's a, it's a considerable improvement. I would love to see some of these just gotten rid of completely, but you know, giving more time to, to fix problems is, uh, 
is always a better bet. And letting letting small businesses have time to cure issues that they're doing wrong uh, is always the right thing. It's not about making money for the city. It's not about punishing. It's just about you know safety and about making sure that you know people aren't being discriminated against. Those are the things that rules and regulations are for. And um, when a rule or regulation is necessary, um, the idea is not to drive them out of business. The idea is to fix the problem and everybody move on. Uh, so I think that's the right thing to do. Yeah. What can we see coming up in the future? I mean, obviously you see the mayor taking his steps to drastically in terms of saying, listen, I want to make sure the businesses know that we're going to take care of them. And I promise this going into office. Are, are you satisfied with what you're seeing from the mayor, particularly uh, saying that he wanted to take care of businesses and here he goes and he, and he makes this drastic move? He did, and uh, yes, I think it was a great start. Um, he, he lived up to his promise, he made it a priority. Uh, I know there are other uh, small business uh, changes afoot. I believe there's a small business commission that uh, will be coming out that will look at rules and regulations uh, from a small business owner's perspective. Uh, so all of these things are great steps forward. We really need this given everything that I described that the uh, small businesses have been through over the past two years. Mark, we got to leave it there, but thank you so much for being with us and uh, sharing a little bit about the, the small business and giving us some insight. Uh, Mark is from the, I should say, the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. Mark Caserta, and we thank so much, Mark, for being with us and sharing. Thank you for having me. All righty, now, if you want more information, please visit the website, brooklynchamber.com. And then, of course, follow them on Instagram and Twitter at Brooklyn Chamber. We encourage you, please, don't go anywhere. We've got some more show open. We'll be right back right after this.